Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to send complex data or complex messages to rich display web screens from Profound.js. And we're going to start with a simple example, a simple program that asks for a customer number and then goes on to show customer details uh, that initially has really no complex data because every single field that we see on the screen is bindable. We have some details like customer number, customer name, and primary contact, and the logo. We have the locations that are in a grid, and then we have the ability to add a location. So the program, when I run it, looks like this. I would enter the customer number, select one, and I can see the information about that customer, and of course on the side here I can add uh, location. So here we have a list of locations that the, co the customer has. Now the code for this is fairly simple. We have um, a program that prompts for the customers first by executing the screen and using SQL to fetch customer information. It then moves on to the second part that um, queries the locations, loads that into a grid that we've labeled location grid, and then executes the screen. Now the user can click the add button, so enter some information, click the add button, that calls a separate function that simply executes on you know, writing that record and it also returns the information about the record that it is written. So this program here is, is very simple but let's say we wanted to improve upon this and instead of showing this information in a grid like we are now we wanted to show it visually and we wanted to show this in a map. So uh, of course Google Maps uh, is what we can use here and Google Maps provides a various API to show a map, to add markers, all of this is very simple and today I'm not going to go into much details on how to do all of that because this is all documented and you, you can go to the Google Maps API website you can, and you can find the documentation. This is where I took the code. This is all client-side code and of course I've got um, my client-side file here, I've, I've called it maps.js, I've got a little routine here called add marker all of this code I took from the Google Maps uh, API reference. Now, this, the trick though is how do you send from the server to the client to the map all of this information? This is what I want to show you. So first I'm going to go back to the designer and I'm going to make some changes. So we're going to go ahead and remove this grid and instead we'll add, I'm choosing a label, really the point is to add a div that will say something like loading map and I'm going to give this div a an ID I'll call it map that's what my client side code is referring to it as and let's go ahead and make it a hundred percent width and a hundred percent height now the way that we're gonna send the information to load all of the markers on this grid is by sending a message. So if we go back to our source code, we can see that right now what we have is we've loaded all the locations into an array called locations, and then we're replacing the grid records. Now we no longer have a grid, so we're going to eliminate this line. But instead, we want to send this as information that the client side code can uh, take and do something with. So the execute on the screen. This is a method that actually has several parameters. Now this first parameter is a data structure that you can pass along and it's optional that contains all of the data for all the bindable fields. And we're not concerned about this here so I'm just going to put in null. But there's a second parameter and that is a message. Uh, this message parameter can be a very simple message, it can just be a string, or it can be a complex message, it can be a, a JSON object with as much data as you want to pack into it. So in our case we're just going to send as this message uh, just the locations, all of the locations that we've retrieved. So that data that we've retrieved from this uh, SQL statement is automatically going to get sent to the client side. So this is the first change. And then uh, we're going to go back and we're going to look at at the screen level a property called on message. So this property is something that receives that message when the screen loads. So the message comes in as a variable called a message. So we can do anything with this message here just by writing some client-side code. Now 
Again, I've already got uh, some client side code that adds all the markers and, and loads up the map. So it's really, in my case, it's really a matter of calling my functions that I've already written. This is my Google API code. And I'm going to pass that message on to the code. So let's click OK here. Let's go ahead and save this change. And we'll exit out of here. And we'll try running the, the application again. So I'm going to select the same customer. And we'll have the map is loading. And you can see that it's adding the markers for each one of the locations. Now I put a little delay as it adds each marker because I just wanted you to see. Otherwise it just happens very quickly. So I put in this delay uh, just to prove uh, a point because the next concept we're going to see is how we can use this same message in order to speed up the user interface. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and add uh, a location. So I'm just going to say let's sample location and let's add an address and let's, let's go ahead and add this. Now what you'll notice is that as I added this the entire screen reloaded and the entire map reloaded and so we're having this um, mapping process go in again and it's remapping all, all of this. Now this is this is great because it you know somewhere in here and I don't know which one it is but it did add the location in here and if I can Oh, there's that sample location that I just added. So it did add the location, but what I don't like is the fact that the screen reloaded. And how can we remedy this? Well, messages can also be used uh, in a different way, and they can be used to make sure that the entire screen is not re-rendered, re but instead we send a simple message, and then the client-side code uh, can do something about it. So here's how this is done. Going back to the code, you can see that when we add the location, uh, normally it will just continue through the loop, reload the entire list of locations, and um, you know, re-render the screen uh, using this execute. Now instead, what I'm going to do is uh, add a line of code that uses a different method, and I'm going to use a method called execute message. This is a little different from execute, because execute re-renders the entire screen. Execute message goes back to the existing screen and says, I don't want to re-render everything, I just want to send an additional set of data, an additional message to that screen. So I can actually take the location that was returned from the add location routine and pass it in as a message and have the client side code, the on message event, capture that and just render it on the fly without having to re-render the entire screen. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to make sure that um, it just continues with, uh, with the loop when it does that. So let's go ahead and try that. And we can see what the, what the difference what might be like. So going back into the application, I'm going to go into the same customer. And let's add a new location. And I'll go ahead and add it. Now what happened here is that this re-rendered much quicker because the entire screen did not get re-rendered. Instead, all that has happened is that it just went ahead, received the message, and added the location um, to the map. It didn't have to re-render the map. It didn't have to replot all the markers. It just re-added and replotted one location. And this was by virtue of using this execute message routine. So what happened here is that the, the, the message was sent, the message was then um, intercepted using this on message routine, and the location got mapped. So I hope this was useful for you and you got a little bit of a preview of how messages can be used to send more complex data and how it can be used to speed up rendering of screens. Mm -hmm.